Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm coming to my student body. Okay, so the semester is about to start, and I just want to give you a brief view at how you will start this class and the things you need to know. Now, please do not worry. The class do not actually start until the 19th of this month. So right now, all you have to do is watch this introduction video and just basically know what you have to do when the class opens up. Nothing will open until the 19th, so you don't have to worry. But it's always good to know what you need to do to get prepared and ready for school. Basically, I'm gonna walk you through various steps so you can see all of the different bells and whistles that is a part of this class. And believe me, there are quite a few, but I just wanna make sure you get ready. For well, this session here, what I will do is make sure you have a step-by-step -step bullet point list of things you should take care of before or on the day of the class. But do not worry, you will always be able to reach out to me or get assistance in your pursuing of completing this class. So I hope you're ready, let's get going. So this is your home page. The moment you sign in, this will be exactly what you will see. So once you get here, you have these tabs across here that is always important to click on. So just pay attention to the various quotes that I have in here and just the underlying information that you need to know. Now you'll see video logs in here that I'm placing in here to make sure that you always know what you need to know. Every week I'll be sending you a video log just to make sure you stand on top of the course. Now, these video logs that I send you are different than the discussion video logs. So you got these discussion video logs that you have to go to, but I explain that as we continue on in the course. But the video logs that I send you via the email, these particular video logs, if you go through them and you make comments, you can get some bonus points for them because I know some students will ask me, hey, professor, is there some extra credit work I can do to bring my grade up? Yes, going through these video logs in the week that I present them, making a comment will get you them points, but you have to do all of them, not just some of them. So they're gonna be video logs about lectures, and I'm always gonna ask you a question, remember, I will ask you a question in those video logs. So make sure you paying attention so you can answer that question. And guess what? This is the first one. So whatever question I ask of you, do it so you can get them bonus points. Remember, I will be checking to make sure that you are definitely viewing the video logs. Okay, with that, the next thing I want you to do is click on content. Now in content, you got various folders in here, but the most important folder is your syllabus folder. Please read your syllabus. You can't imagine how many students take a class and don't read their syllabus. Don't be that person. The next thing is your my, my, my lab IT. I'm gonna talk about that later, but this is where you will do the bulk of your work. But you also have work in discussion tab. You have work in there you have to do. You have work in assignments tab. And I'm gonna bring that information out for you. So make sure you pay attention to that. And you can just look at your grades and that's pretty much it. So the most important tabs are content, discussion, assignment. In content, you gonna you will click on this folder here and it's called my IT folder now I'm gonna go up and show you how it will look as a student because you know I'm the professor so I they give me a lot of bells and whistles so let me go over to that okay I'm gonna click right I'm gonna go up here and click here and then I'm gonna say view as a student now if I go to content and now I click on here which is this link here or this folder here, which is my lab IT, 
you see these things in here and the most important thing in here is the one that says my lab IT course of material now this is super important because it teleports you look at that word teleport it teleports you to another uh, application and in this application where you will do the bulk of your work and I'm just gonna briefly explain these folders to you if you utilize your syllabus you know exactly what you have to do in here some students they not gonna use the syllabus and they are gonna be emailing me hey professor what should I do and I'm simply gonna say did you look at your syllabus oh uh, yeah but well then let's walk through the syllabus so I'm gonna have you walk through that syllabi with me and you're gonna be like oh professor thank you now look at your syllabus you it'll help you out a lot <laughs> but anyway I know I'm joking but anyway it will so in here you have a plethora of folders now if you're in my second class you're gonna see two folders in here but if you're in my first class you're gonna see multiple folders you're gonna see the midterm and final folder nothing will be in there until the midterm and final open up you're gonna see this class activity folder a lot of activities are in there that I need you to do it's a total of 13 and you have to complete them all let's take a look and just see uh, what's in there right now voila you don't see anything because the class haven't started now when you want to go back use these breadcrumbs we call these breadcrumbs you can just click on one of these and it'll take you back to the folders now the next one says technology in action in here you will have multiple folders in here believe me the syllabus will instruct you on what you need to do but when you come to chapter one you will click on that and you will go into here and you will see activities in here and then you click on activities and there you go you got your first quiz but you have to read the book you have to look at my video to know what I'm looking for in those particulars so let's use the breadcrumbs to come back now you see that you got quite a few breadcrumbs here so I'm just gonna come all the way back here to get to very to the very beginning of the course and then you have the lab skills skills for success now here you have quite a few files that you have to do too so just make sure that you follow this and complete your assignments now the syllabus like I said once again the syllabus will guide you on the path of making sure you are doing this if these labs correctly so I just introduced you to your very first tool that you will use when you are doing your work of course you have to go to my IT lab to complete I'll say 80% of your assignments but you have some discussion questions that's in D2L and you have some assignments in D2L to do so just make sure you go through that syllabi okay let's back up so I'm gonna come back here to D2L and I'm gonna go back to the start of the page and like I said you have some discussion questions in here and you have some assignments now let's talk about assignments assignments are where you're going to actually learn how to do some Python programming so each one of these will be a Python program assignment that you will have to do as you can see it's closed right now but don't worry about it you'll be on the 19 you'll be have access to all of this information week by week though not all in one day <laughs> but anyway so one of the things that with this Python programming the syllabus is going to tell you to go to a different website so now now this is solo learn this is what this is a free website where you can learn to code it's free it doesn't cost a dime now once you sign up for the application you can simply put in your first name and also your school email account you do not have to put your email account in you can use your school email account that way you don't have to give anybody your information site that will allow you to do web development coding etc 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 this is where you learn how to program 
you can actually click on courses and it will show you the many different courses that are in here any course that you want to learn about programming it is in here now i use this site in all of my classes because i want to introduce students to a programming language so they can actually pick their skills up all you have to do is just sign up in here and it's simply you just put your your first name and of course put in an email address that's all they require now I suggest that you use your school email address so you don't use your personal email address and you receive a, a bunch of emails from them they don't do that but just in case now the course you will be going through is Python and I'm gonna walk you through this when I do my lectures I just want to introduce you to it so you can get started and actually build your account so that's solo learn now okay so we just finished the first introduction to your class all I need you to remember is this log into your class on the 19th because some students are emailing me and they say professor the class I can't see it I can't open it log into your class on the 19th and then begin to do these four things one make sure that you go to your syllabi two uh, once you get your syllabi downloaded put it on your desktop print it out whatever you need to do to make sure that you can review that syllabi once you do that then move to the next phase my IT lab log in make sure you can get that account set up then go do your test out account get that account set up doing those things will help you a lot and at the very last thing actually make sure that you answer the discussion question and in, in this case it's this here just let me know that you received the video and that you're taking care of your business getting your information up the park let me know the bonus points remember that okay this is professor sistrunk signing off